Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, I guess tonight it really is the calm before the storm for us here in the tri-state because we've got a winter storm bearing down on the area as we speak. Look at this. We're up to 20 degrees. It's a heat wave out there, right? Compared to where we were last night, if you remember, we were already about 7, 8 degrees below zero. That's courtesy of these southerly winds tonight trying to bring in the warmer air. Unfortunately, the price we're going to pay for that warmer air is another winter storm to start our weekend. So the cold air is on the retreat, but boy, look how this area has really filled in over the past three or four hours with snow, sleet, freezing rain, and then even some thunderstorms across parts of Arkansas and Mississippi tonight. This is the storm center that will head up the Ohio Valley. A winter storm warning is in effect for the entire WLWT viewing area. I do expect very difficult travel conditions throughout most of the day on Saturday across the area. Right now, we're going three to six with possibly more, and I'm going to highlight the potential there for possibly more because the reason why, if we don't mix over with any sleet or freezing rain, those snowfall amounts are going to go up and there's evidence tonight that the models are trending colder which would mean more snow for us across the area. So the timing here again coming in after midnight it looks like between about 1 and 2 a.m. snow will overspread the area. As I mentioned the amounts here up in question right now I think we're definitely getting three to six across the area. The question is will we see more and that's certainly possible if we don't mix in with any sleet or freezing rain as we get into midday Saturday and the Saturday afternoon. If it keeps snowing right through the day on Saturday, we could end up with higher amounts. And then in terms of impacts, well, it looks like travel will be tricky across the entire area. And tomorrow morning, I would plan on some fairly significant travel delays. Basically, I wouldn't travel if I don't have to during the day on Saturday. Here's a look at the numbers now. 14 Wilmington, 20 here in Cincinnati, 21 in Vivi. So you can see the milder air trying to work its way in. Here's a look at future cast. Here's 2 a.m. snowing across the area. It will snow hard at times overnight tonight. A matter of fact, I don't think road crews want once the snow begins, we'll be able to really keep up with the intensity of the snowfall. You see how dark the blue is. So in the morning, roads will be snow covered even if we are starting to transition over to sleet and freezing rain. But look at this particular computer model. It keeps the rain snow line. It only brings it up into our southernmost communities and basically keeps everyone north of the Ohio River all snow. And it's been doing that for several runs now. Again, competing models showing that rain snow line in different places. But either way, this is all out of here by tomorrow evening. This is just one computer model, and I want to show you here what it paints out for us. It paints out as much as up to eight, maybe even eight and a half inches across the area. So it will be very interesting on where that rain snow line sets up because the heaviest snowfall with this particular storm will be just north of where the rain snow line is. And right now, that rain snow line appears as if it could set up anywhere from from way down in southern parts of northern Kentucky to right along the Ohio River. So again, 50 miles here are going to make a big difference. Either way, we will all need shovels to get out in about tomorrow afternoon because of the snow. There will at least be enough of that to go around. 21 for a low tonight with snow arriving here in the next couple of hours as temperatures continue to rise. We're forecasted to make it up to about 36, but if it keeps snowing, we'll be a couple of degrees colder than that. Again, rough travel pretty much all day tomorrow, even if we do go over to a little bit of sleet, freezing rain, or plain old rain. Here's your seven day forecast. With the additional snow on the ground, you guessed it, it is going to stay bitter cold right in the next week. Overnight lows will remain below zero by the middle of the week again. All right, rest up over the weekend. We're going to need you again on Monday for this. <laughs> This weather stuff. Well, the